heart failure we know the function of the heart is to pump the blood out to the whole body it means to the lungs and to the whole body so when uh, the this mechanism or this pumping action of the heart decreases we call that situation or that condition is heart failure we have two types of a left heart failure and the right heart failure and due to this heart failure we have two types of diseases pulmonary edema and peripheral edema well coming to the first point left heart failure when the left heart fails what will happen when the ventricle will try to contract and the blood that it is supposed to pump out will decrease a very little amount of blood will be pumped out by the ventricle uh, to the artery so what next happens is that the blood concentration will increase in the left ventricle now this increased blood concentration will exert a kind of pressure and this pressure will be forwarded towards the lungs and we know that the blood is supposed to come from the right atrium to the ventricle from the right ventricle then it will be pumped towards the lungs so now a kind of pressure is provided over to the blood by the right ventricle and also a kind of pressure is provided by the blood from the left ventricle so now the pressure from the right ventricle and left ventricle will cause increase the pressure in the capillaries present in the lungs so when the blood is coming from the pulmonary artery and then coming back to the pulmonary vein you know the capillaries are produced in between the arteries and veins now these capillaries you know that these capillaries are very sensitive for the pressure so now when the pressure increases from both the sides on these capillaries then the capillaries will dilate and the fluid present inside the capillaries will move out and will start accumulating in the interstitium so this fluid accumulation in the interstitium is known as edema so now this edema is in the lungs so for the lungs we use the word pulmo so now in short we'll say that it is actually called as pulmonary edema and this is why because this fluid accumulation is in the lungs so we'll give it the name pulmonary edema which occurs due to the left heart failure and we have another one that is called is right heart failure in the right heart failure and uh, this right heart is often accompanied with a left heart failure in the right heart failure what happens is that the blood concentration will increase here and uh, again the same cases here the ventricles when they are pumping they will pump a very little blood towards the lungs so when the blood concentration increases here then the blood that is coming through the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava to the atria that will actually decrease why because already the ventricle is uh, somehow filled with the blood so then what will happen that the blood in the venous will increase in, in the venous supply will increase or you can say the venous the veins will be filled with the blood then this blood is again supposed to exert a pressure on the capillaries and these capillaries again you know that they are sensitive for the pressure they will dilate and the fluid present in this blood will move out into the interstitium and now these tissues will be filled with the fluid this is also called as edema and this edema is somewhere other than the lungs in the periphery means in the hands or in the feet so we use for that a term noun is peripheral edema so fluid accumulation in the tissues or in the interstitium other than the lungs means in the periphery is called peripheral edema and fluid accumulation in the lungs is actually known as pulmonary edema hope so you got if still you have any kind of question regarding this topic you can drop that in the comment box we'll come for the answers very soon inshallah thank you for watching